everyone. It's me, Keegan. Me, JC. And Brittany. And Eric. And you're watching the Smoky Mountain family. And today we're at. We're at Kiker Farms Corn Maze, but it's more than a corn maze. They have a pumpkin patch, they have stuff for the kids. So we're going to go out here and see what it's all about. Let's get it. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ages six and up are adults. Are adults at Kiker Farm all together? It was fifty-eight dollars for the four of us. And their cheap chip reader is seven, so bring cash. Bring cash, just in case. If y'all would remain seated when we get to the patch, and we'll give you some instructions for the wagon, okay? What are we doing? Well, when it gets good, the pumpkin. When it gets all cool, the pumpkin. Say key. We're gonna get this one. Maybe it's Jack. That one's it. All right. So they can do different things on their channel with them. Yeah. Got the pumpkin. <laughs> They're tired, guys. Probably a tip. They're tired. Wait to the end to get your pumpkin. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Truth is, though, I found my pumpkin before I got here. So. Because I'm big. <laughs> That's our new tradition. We had it. That's, that's one of the things that when you move yeah, here to like, you know, to really you integrate those, into yeah, the, into the community. Yeah. And you feel like you're comparing it until you find something that's like, and you're like, okay, yeah. this could be Yeah, this okay. is it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're still, you're not too <laughs> So we all brought some 
<laughs> lunch meat sandwiches. Jay got a peanut butter lunch meat. We bought some chips and some water and some yoo-hoos and a little bit of a snack. Granny likes this Mio in her water. Pringles. And the Pringles. That's a good point. We have Brittany in the far on the far lane, Keegan in the near lane, and they are off to the races. And Brittany's ahead by about two lengths now. Keegan's coming, but Keegan's using a crawl method and Brittany's using a walk method. She's getting a little bit of help. Oh, Brittany bit the dust. She's at the end, but you gotta come back. You gotta go back. Jaycee's pushing. This has just become a regular train wreck right here, folks. <laughs> <laughs> She's got about a half track lead now. Keegan's on her back again. Brittany's crawling to the finish. So is Keegan. Keegan, you better hurry. You better go. You better go. She's getting you. She's getting you. She's getting you. Oh, it's over. Brittany by a couple lengths anyway. Fine, like you liked it? it? What'd you think about your mom beating you though? I did, she didn't. Did it feel like when me and you did the 5K? No. No? Because I won. All right, so that was Kiker Farm Corn Maze. I'm gonna jump in with the rating. I have went back and forth with my mind with this. So I want to rate it a 10, but I am going to rate it a nine. I think for value, it's a 10. I mean, if you're going to get a Halloween pumpkin or a pumpkin in general, come here because it's basically the same price for admission and you get all these cool things i did like all of the different activities that were free a lot of places would charge extra for those like the animal thing the um corn zip maze lines. zip line the hamster wheel that was really jumping fun. on the thing the, yeah the little bouncy thing you get a lot of stuff to do for that amount you could also bring in your own food which a lot of places don't allow and we were able to have a picnic you could spend the whole day here be mm -hmm. sure to check the weather i see a lot of people in their fall attire you know, um, sweatshirts. It's 80 degrees. It's right 80. Now. Check the hot. weather before you get here. There's a lot of walking involved. That's why it is a nine, not on my behalf, but for mobile and parity. I just can't imagine pushing a wheelchair. wheelchair. It's, through a that. it's a field. It's a field. As well as if you have a infant or a toddler that's in diapers, there's no changing table. Um, I've seen a lot of people having to change their child on the field. So um, just bring one of those things uh, or a blanket at least to help change. Uh, with diaper changing but man i really enjoyed it i didn't think that i was when you pull up here honestly it doesn't look that impressive when you pull up here we were mm -hmm. like ah, should we just go ahead and go on to the next destination but we didn't and i'm really glad get here as soon as they open because lines do start to form with the hayride and admission because it is a cool place so of course there's a line but a nine well you rate it keith i would rate it a nine as well because once you pull up here like mommy said 
it doesn't really look that good, but I do really like how you get to pick a pumpkin for free per how many people you have, which is really cool because normally they would pay extra for that and same with all the rides like mommy said and also they had a ton of different things like the um bouncing thing that was different and they also have um somewhere you can wear like a ton of um picnic tables and already you could order food so i think i rated it a nine yep yeah, yeah. jaybird i rated it 10 i really like it and like whenever you drive through you take a slot like that which fun but mm -hmm. when you come in, it was very, very fun, and I really liked it. Like how, like at the end, when it, whenever you do the Garfield and whenever it's the maze, they have the like it's an award. You get yeah. to see goats. Yeah, <laughs> you get to see <laughs> goats and sheep. Yeah. And All right, guys. So I'm gonna rate it and. I think I think I'm gonna go nine too. Did everybody go nine? I think no. Jay, Jay went ten. ten. Okay. So I think I'm gonna go nine too. They have a lot of stuff going on here. I think that the biggest thing. I, well, let me start. Let me start again. When we first got here and we paid fifty eight dollars to get in, uh, my initial reaction was just like, whoa, that seems like a lot. Um, and then you know you go, you get on the hayride, you go to the pumpkin patch, and they said that every uh, admission gets a free pumpkin so if you were to go to kroger or anywhere else to uh go buy some pumpkins uh, the size that we got i think that you would have almost spent that amount on the pumpkins by themselves so essentially you know the pumpkins negate that admission price so i mean that's a huge plus a huge plus and then um you know the hayride was great it went through the woods i really enjoyed that it was a really nice ride i remember uh when we because i was still kind of like ah oh, man but then we got on the got on the hayride i looked back at Brittany. i said okay this is pretty cool. And then, then when we got to the pumpkin patch and they said that, I was like, all right, uh, it totally changed my mind. Yeah. And then, uh, you know, all the activities for the kids, it was just a really fun time, so. Yeah, and yeah. it's not like every family gets a free pumpkin. It's every person. Every person, yeah. So if you, had, if you brought six people in, y'all bringing home six pumpkins. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. Uh, yeah, the handicap stuff, I mean, if you are, you know, if you do have some sort of uh, mobile impaired or something, it, this is going to be, uh, it's going to be difficult for you. I did uh, see them taking people with a golf cart. Yeah, there was golf carts, so they may have some golf carts and some help. Just make sure you, you know, if, you, if you're thinking about coming here, you're going to try to, you know, uh, give it a give it a go. Um, it might be worth, you know, making a call first or at the very least coming to the admissions desk up here and just asking, hey, is there help for us? And that kind of stuff. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, turn on notifications, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.